the folks, that up front. The folks want to actually hear black. Yeah. Let's just be real on it. Yeah. They actually want to just hear black. But see, I mean, did. see. She did. Well, she did that yesterday. No, 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 no. It came all the way no, out. No, 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 you know what I'm saying? When I say they want to hear, that's all they want to hear. Yeah. I, I'm, right. I'm just saying, you got, it, it's black understand. nobody else. Well, it's, understa <laughs> it's understanding. <laughs> <laughs> it's understanding what some people are talking about and what they're asking for in, in this whole deal. And again, I go back to the Obama effect. There are a significant number of people, and let me say this, this is not just Hotep, it's not just ADOS, it's not just black nationalists, it's not just, no. There are a lot of African Americans who are on Capitol Hill. <laughs> who are black CEOs, who are black small business owners, who are black folks in academia and other areas, who, although you have not heard them publicly go there, they were disappointed in the eight years of Obama. Mm -hmm. So let's just be real clear, okay? Since we're going to sit here and just be real honest, okay? What you're seeing with Senator Kamala Harris, what you're going to see with Senator Cory Booker, what you potentially will see with former Attorney General Eric Holder, what you would have seen with Governor Deval Patrick, are black folks saying, we screwed up. We were quiet for eight years. So, let's start. Uh, all right, so I played a clip of the segment already. I Hopefully I did that. But check this out. So what you see here, because Roland Martin is trying to explain what What's going on in black YouTube and uh, blogosphere and even black intellectual spaces, right? He's blaming the treatment of Kamala Harris on people not being bamboozled again like they were for Obama. And that's just facts that she's not getting the pass that Obama got for eight years to where, no, 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 we don't need any agenda. We just need a black family in the White House. While everybody else goes out and makes money and gets bread and gets things that they want, that exchange, which is what politics about, black people were happy with the uh, the imagery over the implementation. Those are facts. But I don't think it's just that, Boulay Bird rolling. I think her record, which y'all skimming over, is more why people ain't feeling her. But now there's a lot of critiques on YouTube. A lot of videos I've watched going in, a lot of people focused on things that matter politically, not the white husband thing and all that stuff. Although I did a video years ago, about a year or two ago, a year and a half ago, where I asked the question, will Kamala get a pass that Obama wouldn't having a white husband? And clearly we see the answer is yes, that the overwhelmingly black women are going to give Kamala Harris her vote if she's the nominee. It's just facts. But, yes, she will get that pass. It is what it is. I'll leave that link in the description box for that video. But, you're watching Roland Martin actually being forced to address YouTube and social media people. He's not directly saying their names, but he'll randomly bring up something that he's been critiqued of or criticized for and, and throw shots back at the criticism. It's funny watching him do that. He won't say their names. But he will respond, and he's doing that lately because he's recognizing he's not the only sheriff in town. He does not control black media or black thought or black ideas. He don't. But I want you to watch how you've already saw some people discuss this already, but like there's already been tweets from liberal black men who've already jumped on the black men are sexist campaign. Don't let the Terry Crews shit fool you, the timing of that, because that's going to aid into that. But they're already blaming black men for the loss. Now, I have a video coming up. I was going to do it called Black Vote Policing, Black Male Vote Shaming. And I'm going to break those down separately, but they're already blaming black men for Kamala Harris' loss. And it's not just her. I'm reading comments, yo. Like, I'm going to say, right... I, th I to me, if you're just waking up to politics and you're Trump this, Trump that, I just dismiss you. Like all these, the Breakfast Club, or not the Breakfast Club, been in politics, but like Joe Button podcasts and a lot of these other different subculture group podcasts and uh, conversation starters. I don't pay them attention because they just don't know what they're talking about half the time. But 
I'm saying if you've been involved in it, I, I can, you know, we can go back and forth. We can dialogue. I can listen to you, what you got to say. But one thing about Trump is that people say, oh, he's the best thing to happen to black people. They woke up. And I'm thinking like, nah, that that's just like fake. They're going to go back to sleep. But with Kamala Harris, it doesn't seem to be that. It seems that people are really like, yo, we don't like this, bro. And I think if you really want to be taken seriously... Your arguments against her would have to be about her her policy, her being a top cop, her. Um, I I'm I'm, a, I, I'm not sure, but if she was the D uh the, if she was the top cop during the whole um, Fruit Bell Station situation that movie, if she was top cop during that, the whole no body cameras, the whole firefighting for fires for a dollar under her. Uh, I don't care about weed, but the whole record with marijuana, she changed on that, which is whatever policy she changed. I'm saying there's are there are actual ways to come at her to say that she's not gonna get the black vote like sealed, signed, sealed, and delivered. As like, she's not gonna get Obama's numbers, she's gonna get up there. It does look like they are backing her, but it's funny too how black men are getting blamed for her taking the L. When meanwhile, the white progressive liberals, the Young Turks, all those type of folks. They don't fuck with Kamala either. <laughs> right? So it's weird how the light is not even shined on them yet. If Bernie runs or whatever, then they'll probably get shined on them later on. But right now, the light's not shining on them. It's just on black men. Despite, I'm saying, uh, News One, The Roots, uh, even, not the, I don't, I ain't follow, Baller Alert. I'm like, yeah, even the comments in Baller Alert. Like, because they posted the stuff where Tommy Lauren came at Kamala for having extra mineral affairs and allegedly sleeping her way to the top. And people in the comment section was like, oh, we don't mess with Tommy, but we don't mess with Kamala either, right? Don't disrespect her, whatever. So it's like, even in that space, people were not, they were, usually people would just would dismiss what uh, Kamala said, Kamala, and just focus on attacking Tommy, giving her attention that she wants. But they're like, no, 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 we don't like Kamala, but Tommy, relax. And it was like, in that group, that's how I'm like, this is beyond the YouTube conversations. It's deeper than that. Like, motherfuckers really don't like Kamala Harris. And it's it's different angles, right? You, you heard Roland talk about the DOS. So it's like, he's talking about Yvette Cornell and her followers. He's talking about Tariq Nasheed and her followers. He's talking about Jason Black and his followers. Like, all that, like. Everybody who's big on YouTube, whose voices are being heard, because you see it in the comment sections, you know who is subscribed to who and who follows whose ideology just by the language they speak. And that's why Roland Martin specifically said those things in his video. But this is an interesting time to see because it's a lot of competition going around. Um, I know Roland has to feel sick thinking he's going to come off of a network television and then he's going to run YouTube, Right. It's not happening. There's a lot of competing ideas and, and, and whatnot. You can do one thing on your show, and he's petty enough to waste time on his show to respond to people or to go sit in his car and shit on black people for whatever. But just look at all this going on, all this tap dancing that's going on to protect her. And like Monique Presley, she's talking about, oh, she's giving Obama credit for shit he didn't do. Oh, well, why are black people not happy? Like, did you not look at the data? Did you not look at the numbers? Did you not watch Roland Martin's episode where he graded Obama? He got an F on HSBCUs. He got an F on black home ownership. Black people only benefited uh, a 1% increase in insurance from Obamacare. Not his fault, but most of the red states, Republicans, denied the Medicare expansion. So black folks who lived there didn't get the benefit from that either. Florida, Georgia, things like that. So... She's just talking out of her ass and about to have a hissy fit. And they're mocking black people for actually bringing that type of things up with Obama. They're mocking black people for saying that to Kamala Harris. No, you should stay on her neck. You should be hard on her. You should not have any loyalty to a, a, a party or even a, a politician. That's not how this shit works. And I'm saying keep doing that. i like to see that continue to happen. Don't let them okie doke you and shame you and support her. There are, Roland even talked about the sexes and, and, and the races and this and that. Again, the arguments about her identity, it is what it is. 
the overall majority of the black community, especially the bourgeois, be black class, they consider biracial people black, whatever. But don't let her come out on Martin Luther King's birthday. Don't let her tr- drag out in front of an HBCU and then say, oh, uh, why does she have to have a black agenda day one or whatever? Like, if you're going to run with that, you're going to come out on King's day and you're going to come from the HBCU and you're talking about, oh, she don't got to, even though she's over blacking in it, and then she's doing the whole, I listen to this trash music, doing the Hillary Clinton hot sauce in her back stuff, panning the black folks, black women in particular. Right? Don't let her do all those things and then try to give her a pass saying she don't need a black agenda. Like, that's just dumb. She needs a black agenda. Like, if you want their vote, again, I admit that black people did fail. Roland is correct about that part. Black people gave Obama a pass for eight years. I'll link my video, uh, and the nigga failed. <laughs> this is a, it's an amazing video of all these black people, some of which Roland Martin is talking about, who've critiqued Obama a little bit too late. They waited too long to do these things. But the premise of that video, I'll leave it in the comment section, was that, because it's on Facebook, you got to watch it on Facebook. It's about 40 minutes long. The premise of that video, though, was showing you how many black people who are up there, boys, this is when Tone Talks wasn't at beefing with voice because he took it other side or whatever. But all these different political speakers, uh, Byron Allen, who donated to Obama, uh, even Dr. Michael Eric Dyson, when he wanted to be critical of Obama, he played the little thin line where he, you know, he, he walked the tight rope or whatever. He did do that. Like, he did. But there's even Julia Malvo. Right on Rock Newman, like it's this example of example of the example of people critiquing Obama correctly about policy and about what he didn't do. And I, it, it you can Molly's Presley's about to cry saying it's not fair to blame her. Yes, JFK was the first Irish president and the last, the Irish Catholic president. He's the first, and he's the last. Obama to potentially could have fucked up there ever being an actual black president. Like, he was the first, and it's probably going to be the last for a long-ass time. Kamala is going to have to deal with the sins of Obama. It is That's just what it is. She can't run from that. All the... And we I agree we got to stop saying Shea Butter, because Shea Butter is good. But all the Crisco Butter Twitter females and all the Moist Smart Very Brothers and all that articles, none of that's going to stop black people from saying, yo, we not supporting you, Kamala, if you don't do X, Y, Z. If she comes with an agenda and a plan, I'm not liberal, I'm not voting for her ass, but I'm saying, if she actually comes with some policies that you want, that don't contradict, like, don't say you want to give unemployment and do this, raise the minimum wage, boom, give health care, but like New York, my state is doing, giving kids education, trying to give everybody in the city, not my state, but like, not my city, but New York City, you know, the lives is trying to give everybody health care, all that, while simultaneously making New York a sanctuary city. Like, no, you can't do that. You can't give those things to taxpayers and things to people who paid into the system and then let a bunch of motherfuckers who don't participate in the system because they can't because they're not taxpayers. They're not supposed to be here. Like, don't do stuff like that. Like, Kamala can't do that. But if she actually does things that address the issues that black people have, it is what it is. I don't know what she's going to do on school choice because Democrats are against that usually. Um... That's something I can say, oh, I can understand y'all going out there voting for. A lot of black women support that because of their kids. Um, even though they vote Democrat, a woman who don't support that. <sighs> Shit don't make sense to me. But I already know where she stands on guns. I know where she claims she's going to lower taxes. Whatever. The issues that black people need directly is business loans need to go up. HSBCU funding needs to go up. Um, something needs to be done with education. I would say expand school choice, but I don't think a Democrat's going to do that. So those are things that are tangible, not this glossed over things that Monique is talking about. Oh, the lowest unemployment rate ever. No, that's happening now. Not under Obama, but it's happening now. But it was still double the, the double the national average. So like those aren't like you bragging about those numbers. Black home ownership was at a 50, 40, no, 40 year low during Obama's administration. And he didn't do anything to address it. So and then she talked about you know being able to stay in your parents' health care. How do you like you can't say that without acknowledging how many people got 
lost their doctor, lost their plan, and told their kids, no, I can't afford to pay you for you on my insurance. I guarantee you there's a lot of black people who were in that boat too. And a lot of Negroes was taking the penalty. So this to be honest. Despite the fact that we're overrepresented in federal jobs who provide health care, we're probably overrepresented in that 8 million people who were paying the penalty every year and not getting no refunds because Obama said you have to buy this product from a private company or bend over. And a lot of folks was like, well, it's cheaper to take the penalty than to go spend $400 a month with a $10,000 deductible. If you have a $10,000 deductible, you don't have health care. You can have health care on paper. Like, this shit is just dumb. But that's just my quick politics in a way. I got a lot more political commentary to come. This shit is interesting. I'm just shocked and surprised how, because normally I could tell when the conversation is YouTube combos and it's just here and it's not over, but I'm going to different groups and different Twitter feeds and groups that don't even talk about politics and looking at the comment section. And then again, it's not just black men, even though we're getting blamed for it. It's black men and black women who are not fudging with Kamala and they are bringing up valid arguments. They're not talking about her being biracial. They're not talking about her white husband. They're talking about her actual policies and things that happened under her leadership. TBA did that. Do he did do that. And one of his videos break down verbatim all the shit that happened under her policy, under her leadership as attorney general, which is going to be hard for a top cop to win the black vote. Like, y'all can't say y'all don't like Jeff Sessions, who's not there, but then vote for Kamala Harris. That shit don't make no sense. They're they're not the same, but mm, they're close, right? And I'm already watching the tap dancing and the flip-flop, and the one brother on Roland Martin said, oh, well, this is... You know, San Francisco, not, you know, Deep South, Red State. Like, yeah, black folks only account for a small percentage of San Francisco uh, population, like 3%, but they kind of for like 34% of the prison population. Uh, your girl did not want to let out people who were in there for nonviolent crimes. Like, come on. It's just, it's real beef right now. Like, you're going to have these so-called boulets who don't really have any power and clearly are losing what left they thought they had of power they had. They're losing that because Roland Martin is addressing you two motherfuckers, right? <laughs> this shit is crazy, yo. But anyways, that's my video for now. But the Kamala Harris situation is getting interesting. Um, if she makes it to the primary, it's going to be interesting. If she wins the primary vote, it does look like she got a lot of people and money in there. I think one thing that could stop her momentum is if Bernie decides to run. You have already saw people on Twitter crying about that. Uh, Crisco Butter Twitter. We're not going to say Shea Butter on Twitter no more because Shea Butter is good. Um, but they're up in there crying like Bernie don't run. I saw people saying, oh, because he didn't. Like he, they cheated him. Like he was supposed to just hop over and just concede and let Hillary take over. Like no, like they did cheat his ass. I mean that's facts. The Boulay Bird himself helped participate in some of that cheating. Roland Martin giving away them damn debate questions. <laughs> that's just weird too. Like how Roland Martin is supposed. Like I, I get Obsidian's point where he wants to say like black men should support his show and give the twenty dollars, fifty dollars. Like I can't do it. I can't do it because Roland Martin is just. The integrity is there. The way he talks down to people. The way he calls people. He, the way he talks to people. Like he's just like it's mad unprofessional. They on a show saying motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Like that shit is cool. Like just mad weird. And you wonder why Facebook is not giving your show, giving you a show. <laughs> your show is just trash and tacky, and it's always some f ups. It's just terrible, man. And you're supposed to be the antithesis of black journalism. Like nah, B, you're doing too much. But yeah, Kamala, it's going to be a tough one, right? As O'Shea said that Republicans can win without the black vote, but Democrats cannot win without the black vote. So if enough people stay home or vote third party or vote Bernie or write in or whatever, it's going to be hard. And if y'all thought that the butt hurt, the tears were bad after the election day when Trump won, Wait until you see how they're going to be if Kamala loses to Trump. Hoo-wee. Just wait. Uh, damn. That's a long enough rant. I'm out. You know what? <laughs> I'm literally tempted to have a segment called This Motherfucker. <laughs>
Okay, I, no, but, but okay, but I, I, I just, I, 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 I just want y'all to understand something. She said, "Motherfucker." Yeah. All these folks are losing their mind. This is the same dude at a rally said, "Sons of bitches." Huh? A man who has cussed at numerous rallies. No, a man. Y'all go here. A man who has said, "Grab them by the you know what," and so. If that's what you say, you disgraced yourself. You're a man who this, called this, his daughter a piece of ass, who called this, his own self true. daughter a piece of ass. Yeah. So he has no moral high ground or even. Did he? Did he so stop Kanye from cussing in the Oval Office? No. He enjoyed no. that. Y'all go ahead. He loved every ounce of it. Uh, the thing is this, right? We got to understand Rashida Tlaib's story, right? She goes from being kicked out of a Trump rally to now being a sitting member of Congress. I'm going to tell you something. If I go from being kicked out of a Trump rally to being a sitting member of Congress, I'm bringing every ounce of smoke for that motherfucker. We're going to pay for that shit. You know, I'm you not going to cuss on air. But here's what... Here's